Tony, can we cut a hole in the deck up there, in the upstairs porch, and drop an extension cord so I can have power down here? Uh... This looks like a job for Danger DIY. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing a GFCI external outlet for electrical using the inside outlet that I'm going to tap into the same circuit for and bring it outside. And just to make sure it's safe, I'm installing a GFCI for this outlet. I've also installed a weatherproof cover for it as well. Even though we're in a protected area, um, that will make sure that the weather stays out of it. Working on electricity is dangerous, and not disconnecting power before working on electrical wiring could lead to serious injury or death. Disconnect all power from the lines and double check to make sure they are off with a multimeter. And that is great advice, but now that the power's off, let's remove the inside outlet. Oh my gosh, look at this. What is it? It's a mud dauber's nest in my wall. Let's get this out of here. Now, since I'm going to be installing the new outlet right on the other side of this wall, I'm going to drill right through the wall to make a wiring path for the new outlet. Next, I'm going to use 14.3 Romex wire and put that through to the outside. Then I'm going to strip the new wires and attach the same color wires to the existing wiring where the same colors are already connected. So white will go to white, black to black, and bare copper to the ground. These videos take a lot of time to make, so it would be great if you'd take just a second to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love also reading your comments and seeing your ideas, so feel free to leave one as well. Now you may have two wires on each side already, as I have in my case. And you may be tempted just to screw down your third wire onto one of these two terminals. But stacking two conductors under one terminal isn't a code and over time may be a fire hazard. So don't do this. It is okay to stack two ground conductors, however, under the same screw terminal, but you can also use a splicing conductor to do that as well. There are two terminals on each side of the outlet, on this side two hot terminals, and so I have the original hot wire and the new hot wire that will go outside to the outlet. So I'm going to use a three wire splicing connector so there's only one wire under the terminals. The back of the connector has a stripping gauge to let you know how much bare wire will be ideal. Insert the wire straight in and then close the lever. The wire should be held tight and won't come out if you pull on the connector. Then repeat for the next wire. Now, we need a new wire stripped on both ends. Loop the end and add this new wire to the now empty hot side terminal. And then put the other end into the splicing connector and clamp it down to complete the hot side. Just repeat the same process with the neutral side with the white wires, and you are done with the wiring for the original outlet. Once you have finished all the connections, you are finished with this side. So put everything back into the wall, screw everything in, and now it's time to head outside to the other side to finish the job. Here I'm placing the junction box so I can mark and then drill the holes to mount the junction box to the wall. Then I'm going to use a silicone glue on the back in conjunction with the masonry screws to make sure the box stays put where I put it. If you're not going into masonry, you likely won't need the adhesive, but it also seals the area around the hole to keep out critters. I'm going to get everything straightened up and then trim and strip the wiring. I'm going to be using an Electec GFCI outlet. It has straight in wiring 
and uses a screw to tighten the clamp that holds the wire into the back. This outlet is about $10 at Amazon and I will include a link to it in the description. Here I'm getting everything connected up and tightened down. And we're done with the wiring. Let's get everything put together and an outlet cover on this thing and finish up. Now I'm using a standard cover. However, you can also get a watertight cover as shown here. This is in a covered and protected area, but if it were not, I would absolutely want to use the watertight cover. Well, now we have an AC outlet that is GFCI protected on my covered patio area. I appreciate you taking the time to watch all the way through the video and visit my channel today. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will make sure to get it answered. Danger. DIY. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.